There are users cashing thousands of dollars every single week on prize picks, and they're simply doing it by understanding one thing that most bettors ignore, and that's the math behind prize picks. Because to be honest, we've all built prize pick slips that look perfect in our mind, but we end up watching it crash and burn by only one leg missing. But here's the thing to remember is that prize picks is essentially a sports book and they aren't meant to lose. They are actually meant to profit. So if you understand how their payout works, you can actually start to gain an edge if you start to understand how their payouts work and how to use positive EV data to your advantage. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how the payout structure works on prize picks, the hidden math behind profitable slips, and also how outlier users are using this to cash out thousands every single week. So let's go ahead and jump into it. What you see here is just a table of all of the different slip types that you can be taking on price picks, anything from a two pick power to a six pick flex. And really what this provides is just clarity for a lot of people who are betting on DFS sites like price picks and doing it completely wrong. And what you have to know with these DFS sites is they don't offer typical parlay odds. What they're going to do are fixed payouts, right? So those payouts are going to tell you exactly what you're going to get depending on the number of slips that you add to your parlay. And because of that, what we can do is we can go ahead and kind of simplify that to what these each, each of the individual legs need to have in terms of percent odds to hit. And then we can then convert that into these odds per leg. So if we look here for the two pick power, what we're seeing is that what we'll get is a three X, meaning that we're going to only profit a two X. So whenever it comes down to that, what we have to consider is that each of those legs have to have roughly a 57.74% odds to hit, which is equate, equates to minus 137, meaning that it's quite difficult to actually hit these because there's not a ton of positive EV where odds are at minus 137 and books are completely off, right? So what you can see when you're looking at this graph is probably the most optimal slip type that you can be creating are actually five pick and six pick flexes offering here at minus 119. Those are very easy to find whenever we're comparing those to other sports books is what we'll be diving into later in this video. What I wanna do from here is actually show you the math that goes into all of this and how are we getting this, you know, 56.23 for four pick powers, but on four pick flexes, we're actually getting 55.04. So that's exactly what I will show you. I have gone ahead and created a Google Sheets where I can go ahead and calculate all of this. Now, the point of all of these, again, I've gone everything from two pick powers all the way down to six pick flexes, and all of these percentages are different, right? So the whole point of this is our ROI, our return on investment. What we're trying to figure out is what is our break even point? Because at the end of the day, we hit that break even point. We obviously haven't gained anything, but more importantly, we haven't lost anything, right? So what we're trying to do is get as close to zero as we can. And anytime I change this average win percentage for each of these legs, you will see that change. So again, let's go to where it's a little bit lower. So instead of 57.74, let's just do 57%. So you can see that if we are taking legs at 57% odds to hit, right? That is a negative 2.5. 5.3 return on investment. That's obviously means that long term, we are going to lose 2.5% of our money that we are investing into this. But instead of 57.74, let's say that it was 58 and a half. So 58.5. Now we can see that it's a 2.67 return on investment every single time we make those bets, right? But obviously it's a little bit difficult to find plays that have an average win percentage of 58.5. So that's why two pick powers are almost impossible to win long term. Sure, they're fun, you feel like they're easy, but whenever you're betting on prize picks, it's really not the most optimal form, right? So that's why that 57.74, which equates to that minus 137 is what we're looking for anytime we bet on two pick powers. So again, what I mentioned is that like flexes, for instance, are a little bit different. So let's go to our five pick flex, which is with that minus 119. So again, we did our 54.26. Now what this incorporates is all of our potential payouts. So again, there's six different options essentially when it comes down to these five pick flexes on price picks. We can either go zero five, which again means we're gonna lose our $100 bet. So again, I, I put our bet amount here, so minus $100. One of five, we don't win anything. Two of five, we don't win anything. But if we go three of five, what we get is a multiplier of 0.4, meaning that we will get $40 back, but we still lose 60 bucks, right? But if we go four out of five, what we get is a two X payout, 
But again, that's our, that's our initial bet plus a $100 profit. And then from here, what we get there is a 10 X payout, which is just $900 in profit. So then what it calculates here is all of our positive EV that we're getting. And then this is our return on investment. So again, pretty close to zero. And that's exactly what we're looking for, right? So again, if we wanted to bet a little bit higher, let's bump this up to 55%. Hopefully we can find all of our plays where we're getting 55% odds to hit on every single one of those. Well, that's going to give us an ROI of about 5%, which is fantastic. Any profitable sports better will take that um, 100, 100 days out of 100. So now how can we start using this math to actually become profitable sports bettors? Well, it all starts with the right platform, which is exactly why we are going to be taking a look at outlier.bet's positive EV feed. So let's go ahead and hop over there. So once you get here, what you want to do is on your left-hand sidebar, there is a positive EV tab that you want to go ahead and select. Now, once you select that, it's going to flood your feed with so many different books and the positive EV that you can take. But what we want to do is actually set up a couple filters so that way we can look at prize picks specifically. So as you can see here, I have nine filters gone ahead and set up. And the first one that you're going to see are these DVIG books. This is important because these are some of the sharper books that we want to be taking a look at because we're going to feel a little bit more confident when it comes around to placing these bets. Those six books are Pinnacle Circa Bookmaker, FanDuel, DraftKings, and Caesars, which the only one that we're really requiring is FanDuel. FanDuel's prop market is kind of superior compared to all of these other books. So we really want to value their opinion. Now, not only are we just going to select that FanDuel is required, we want to go here to this custom weight as well. And we're going to bump this all the way up to 100. Everything else, we're going to drop these down to 25. We do value these books, but we value them equally. FanDuel, again, is what we really care about in this. So we set those six books, we set our weights. Now, next, what we look at is our variation. Now, what is variation? Well, variation just really means that the lower the variation, that means more stable that that data is for all of these books. So we want to set that quite low. 5% is a really good number to set that at. So go ahead and set that to 5%. Now, here, what we want to do is set our EV percentage to be obviously above zero. So you can go to 0.25%. Not all of these plays that only 0.25% are going to be profitable bets on price picks because of those, those requirements, that criteria that we needed to hit. But what you'll see is a good amount of bets that you can start to pair together with this, right? Because again, volume is very important when it comes to this, but we need to be doing volume that actually makes sense in profitable slips for our ROI. Now, next is our no vig odds. What we want to do is set this anywhere from negative 300 to plus 200. We don't want something that's absolutely crazy on either end of that. Somewhere in between that is really what we're looking for. And that's going to kind of give us those regular, not really goblins or demons on uh, prize picks. We're kind of going to be looking at their regular market odds. Uh, next is our max width. We want to set that to about 40. Now, what is width? Really, we're looking for smaller width just because that means that the books are more confident and the market is considered a little bit sharper. So if we set that down to 40, then a lot of these books are kind of agreeing uh, on these fair value odds, which is very important for us whenever we're betting on it. Now, these bet types, you can go ahead and select player props, but prize picks only really offers player props. So it should default to that anyways. Now, the date range, we're looking at the NBA so because of that, I want to just look at the next 24 hours. But if you were looking at other sports like the NFL or maybe even college football or anything like that, just go ahead and select any time because obviously they only play, you know, every other day, every week, whatever. Um, so you need to kind of adjust that accordingly. So again, like I said, though, I, my last filter, my last two filters here, I'm looking at just the NBA. And then on my books, I unselect everything but prize picks. Okay, I know that that was a lot, but that is important so that way we can have a very adequate feed for you know creating these profitable slips. So the very first thing that we see is this DeMar DeRozan play, and I need to be taking this myself right now. Now, why do I need to be taking this? Well, you can see here, um, we're, we're seeing minus 119 compared to minus 129. Well, that minus 129 is our fair values odd, which is exactly what we want. So again, when we look back at our payout chart, that minus 129, if we're getting an average, we can play that almost anywhere across the board except for these this two-pick power and this three-pick flex. Obviously fantastic for us, but it doesn't matter just about that DeMar DeRozan play. We need to be able to get an average of these. So we see a DeMar DeRozan play, Steven Castle. Um, all of these plays are looking really good. So what I want to do, let's just take a look at these top five plays, and we're going to take the average. So let me go ahead and pull up a calculator. 
and then let's pull an average from these top five plays. So you see minus 129, minus 129, minus 123, minus 123, minus 122. So let's take an average of those. So we have 129 plus 129 plus 123 plus 123 plus 122. And we can divide that by five because there are five total plays. That means that we have an average leg odds of my or minus 125 is what we'll call that. So we'll round down minus 125. So now that we know that information and we take just those five legs, let's see where we can actually play that. So again, these five legs, we could play that at a five pick power because again, we see this at minus 122. So that's a profitable slip. We obviously clear that criteria. Now we can get a higher return on investment for this because again, this is minus 119. And again, we're, we're sitting at minus 125. So again, you can play that on any single play on this five, uh, five pick power or five pick flex, it does not matter. Again, this is your most optimal slip type at minus 119. So that would kind of be my recommendation. It's you obviously will get paid out if you go for a five, because again, that's the thing to remember when you're positive EV betting. This is by no means a guarantee. You need to be betting in volume with good bankroll management while also hitting this criteria. So that's very important. Now, also what we can do is if we go back here, we see other plays, right? So we took these top five, but what we can't do is kind of come into here and take these bottom three. Now you might be asking, why can't I take these positive three? Don't all three of them have some sort of expected value? Yes, again, I do get that logic. And let's go ahead and put that logic to the test and see what our return on investment is. So again, our fair value odds that we're getting on all three of these are minus 120. So obviously our average is minus 120. So let's go ahead and take a look at what that is for us. So again, we are looking, let's just do three pick power and a three pick flex at minus 120. And for an average odds of minus 120, what that average win percentage is, is about 54.5. So what we'll do is we'll plug that into both of these and we'll start off in the three pick flex. So let's go ahead and just type in our average win percentage, which again, minus 120 is about 54.5. As you can see there, that changed to minus 120. Our ROI has dropped down to minus roughly 11%. So that means that in the long term, we are going to lose 11% of our investment on the bets that we make. Obviously not ideal if you're looking to win long term um, on price picks, right? So now let's go up. Maybe you wanted to pay a three pick power, right? So let's do the same thing, 54.5. Now we have a negative 3% roughly ROI. So again, I do understand the logic that again, all three of these plays have some sort of positive EV because they're obviously popping up and we're getting a, a, a slight edge compared to the rest of the market. But that doesn't mean that it's a profitable slip type whenever we're creating these parlays. And that's unfortunately where a lot of sports bettors go wrong whenever they're betting on these DFS sites like price picks, underdog, dabble, or anything else like that, right? So we need to make sure that again, we understand what this chart is telling us because this is our break even point. Anything above that means that we should be profiting long term, especially if we're practicing the right volume, the right bankroll management, and hitting more importantly, this criteria here. So anyways, that is the checklist that I have for you. First and foremost, take a look at outlier.bet and what their positive EV speed is telling you, but then you also need to understand and cross-reference what those numbers, numbers and averages are to what we're getting here and seeing what is the most optimal slip type that you can be taking. So if you got to screenshot this, go ahead and screenshot this. I highly recommend it. And then from there, really, you shouldn't be worrying a lot, right? You, you just need to be doing those three things that I said, and you should be okay. So anyways, though, if you have any more questions, please let us know down in the comments below. We are here to help you. Follow us on socials, and we'll be happy to connect with you. Anyways, best of luck betting, and let's dominate this NBA season.